Well, their guy didn't win, but give Matt Kenseth fans credit for going to the polls. 19,000 votes in the now speed sponsored driver of the year quarterly ballot, but fan votes aren't the only criterion. Paul Tracy, the first driver in kart history to win the first three races of the season, got the nod when both the fan and the expert panel votes were counted. Battle, uh, balloting for the second quarter nominee continues through June at SpeedTV.com. NASCAR traditionally does not race on Easter weekend, but religious observation does not stop there. Parked at each event, along with the team haulers and NASCAR's infamous big red truck, is a truck and trailer of a religious sort. Thank God for the nice rain shower, and uh, I prayed for it to rain. I pray for God to forgive me for the dumb things I do and to make me a better person. And I just got to thank the good Lord for giving us a great car. I'm just blessed. Thank God for just a great, safe day. The sense of God may be evident in the post-race comments from Victory Lane, but it is only a hint of the depth of spiritual belief within the NASCAR community. Its impact on the needs of daily living are shepherded by Motor Racing Outreach, also known as MRO. MRO is a fairly comprehensive effort to reach the entire racing community, whether it's those that compete or the fans of racing. So in order to do that, you have to have a variety of efforts going on. Things such as this community center, the fitness and rehab program, and all those are geared directly towards the traveling racing community. The community center has been the thing that's allowed the families to actually uh, make it more convenient for them to bring their kids to the tracks. The community center is located inside of the driver's paddock, and it truly is the hub of activity. Uh, we like to think of it as Spirit Central, but um, most of the time the families come and hang out. We offer um, supervised care times, most often for when moms are in the garage area uh, or want to be with their husbands or, uh, or their significant other. And uh, so we provide a place they can bring their children and uh, then they're able to go be with their family member. My role at Motor Racing Outreach is I'm the youth chaplain. The youth used to get lost in the shuffle when they came to the racetrack and had nothing to do, so uh, we provide a lot of good things for them to do to keep them out of trouble. Who are you cheering for? Dale Jarrett. Oh, uh, why? Because he's my dad. He's your daddy. Who are you cheering for? Uh, no one. How come? Because my dad doesn't race. <laughs> what did he used to do? Uh, be crew chief with yeah. Dale Earnhardt and Mike Skinner. The benefits of MRO do not stop at the conditioning of the mind, but the body as well. NASCAR came to MRO a few years ago and asked them if they would become involved with the sports medicine side of it. Basically, we can do anything in here that they would do in any athletic training room with any professional sport. Uh, we treat the guys for the injuries that they have, rehabilitate them after an injury, and also do injury prevention, taping, bracing, padding, stuff like that for the drivers and the crews. The trailers behind us is part of the fitness and rehab center. This is a big draw for the community to come on over and, and just uh, uh, be a part of what MRO does, and it's a chance for MRO to kind of connect with people that we normally wouldn't see. These guys are home only about four days a week, and then they have to come on the road to do the stuff on the weekends. So this gives them an opportunity to, to continue with the uh, exercise, the routine that they have during the week. Another routine is the weekly service of MRO chaplain Dale Beaver. I am willing. There's not a one of us here who has tried to follow God's law and God's way and not felt the barb of fleshly appetites, of hunger and passion, of desire for power, for wealth, for fame. We have a chapel service two hours before the race. It dovetails with the driver's meeting every Sunday. What that does is it gives them an opportunity to have a welcome distraction. I have a lot of guys tell me it's just a real good distraction uh, from the pressure they're going to feel out in that race car today. And it, it, it's another opportunity for them to connect with God uh, for just a few moments into uh, the greater purpose of what they're doing. But what I'm fixing to do is I'm fixing to go down through the cars here and uh, catch the drivers and the crewmen and their wives at the car. What it does is it gives us an opportunity to have a real touch point moment with the crewman and the driver and the families. It helps them to ground things into the eternal perspective of what they're doing. Uh, it gives them a sense of peace. You want to pray together real quick, man? What's up, Kevo? How are we doing? I'm doing fine, pal. Father God, I just ask you to cover my brother right now, safe and sound, tuck him in this race car and be with these guys that come over the wall today to care for it. Pray, Father, for their families. They'd be at peace as they're working today. For Christ's sake, amen. I love each and every one of them. I want them all to do well. But above and beyond, I want them to understand that the talents God has given them, that he's given them for 
uh, for his glory and his service. And ultimately out there today, I hope they have a good run, you know, and, and are safe above everything else. It's a love, really, for the people that are part of the sport. After you spend so much time out here traveling week in and week out with people, you really get to know each other very well. And you realize after a period of time that uh, uh, everybody needs help with different things, different challenges they're facing. And if you can come alongside and help people out, uh, for those of us particularly that are part of MRO, it's just something that's deep down inside all of us that we want to see, see happen and be a part of trying to, uh, trying to do for people. You don't have to be a driver or crew member to reap the benefits of motor racing outreach. MRO provides a variety of services and entertainment for NASCAR fans at most Winston Cup events.